Rossington counter-attack set stage for Sanderson to strike as Northants turned tables on Durham. Durham had enjoyed themselves last time out. Career best figures from Bryden Cass helped boost the side's promotion hopes with a victory at Lords in a tight, low-scoring contest against Middlesex. They sit 14 points behind today's opponents, Northamptonshire, who are currently in pole position in the race for the final two promotion places. But Durham will first look to leapfrog Gloucestershire, their advantage of nine points a much more achievable target. The September gloom would see a delayed start and with bowler-friendly conditions set to persist throughout the first day of play, Durham would take the opportunity to attack their hosts with ball in hand. But Newton and Curran would negotiate the new ball threat well, both men playing their shots to see the home side reach 50 without loss. That's when Durham would strike, a rising rain delivery taking Newton's edge and seeing the North Ants open a depart for 26. Persistent drizzle curtailed the first session. An early lunch called as the rain came down, North Ants 75 for one. The resumption of play saw North Ants push the score towards three figures, but they lose their second wicket one run short. Wakeley shouldered arms to Rushworth, the Durham bowler got one to jag back and take his off stump. Two balls later, Keogh was gone, caught behind. Curran too would fall to Rushworth, the team reaching 100 but the bowlers on top, another batsman's off stump removed. Bryden Cass had produced an excellent final day spell to help Durham to victory against Middlesex last week and he'd once again pick up a pivotal wicket, the dangerous Levy caught in the cordon after a bit of juggling. Rossington would halt the Durham progress for a time before the rain returned and an early tee was taken. Durham struck again after tee, Proctor caught behind off rain. New man Bracewell would be the latest in a long line of batsmen to fall to Rushworth, a bit of extra movement seeing him trapped LBW. And with a score of 150 runs, Rain would have North Ants 8 down, beating Berg's inside edge to take the top of off stump. Captain Rossington recognised his side were losing wickets quickly and put his foot down, one cast over going for 27 runs. A little extra bounce surprised Hutton, Rushworth found the top edge and picked up his fifth wicket in the process. But his fine rearguard action would finally be brought to an end, caught by Lees off Salisbury for 82 off just 70 balls. Durham had been in the ascendancy through large portions of the day, but they were about to be put under pressure as they got their innings up and running. Cameron Steele went early on, caught by Hutton off the bowling of Sanderson. Sanderson struck again, Lee's the man to go this time, Wakeley with the catch in the cordon. And Gareth Berg made it three, Watling LBW for a three ball duck. Sanderson had three in the next over, Angus Robson LBW for nine. But that momentum would be halted as Bad Light saw the umpires take the players off. With no improvement in conditions, that would be that for the day. Adam Rossington had turned the tide at just the right moment for the hosts, his counter-attacking batting ensuring the momentum shifted the way of the home side. His efforts with the bat had been backed up by Ben Sanderson, who struck three times to leave Durham on the back foot, four down for just 37 runs. The visitors will need to dig deep to find a way back into this and salvage their first innings.